Hello friends, welcome to BPSC JE Prelims. This is lecture 3 of module 1. Again, this lecture comes under surveying and measurement topic of general engineering syllabus. In this lecture, we will study about the compass survey and this is very important as there is 99% chance of coming question from this topic. So guys, please watch this video carefully. Most of the students having problem in this topic. Believe me guys, if you watch entire video, you will able to solve any problem. So please watch. So let's start the compass survey. In previous lecture, we studied about the chain survey in which only linear measurement is measured. But in compass survey, we measure both angular and linear. Angular measurement done by the instrument which is called compass and linear measurement is done by the chain or tape. The principle of compass survey is traversing. Traversing is nothing but number of connected lines. There is series of connected lines. Suppose these lines are connected with these lines and these lines and these lines these lines these lines like that so this is called traverse and the line of this traverse is called traverse leg and traverse may be of two type closed traverse and open traverse this is closed traverse this traverse is called closed traverse if a starting point or end point is coincide then traverse is called closed traverse if a starting point or end point doesn't coincide then traverse is called open traverse like this 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 is a open traverse for making a traverse we require two measurement one is angular measurement and second is linear measurement suppose this is line for draw traverse we require two measurement in which direction means angle with reference line and what is the length of this line now i will introduce some term regarding this topic now you understand the traverse now what is meridian and what is bearing meridian is nothing but a reference line and bearing is nothing but angle let's suppose this is line ab what is the angle of this line from this reference line this is reference line from which angle of this line is measured this angle will suppose theta this is reference line and this reference line is called meridian and angle of this line with respect to reference line is called bearing that is please remember this meridian is reference line and bearing is angle horizontal angle which is measured from reference line and that reference line is called meridian now coming to the next to understand entire topic we require to understand only one geometric property and that property here with this if one line is cutting to two parallel lines, then what is the property? This angle, this angle should be equal, and this angle and this angle is equal, like this angle and this angle is equal, and this angle and this angle is equal. Okay, only this property you need to understand, nothing else. Likewise, if I turn this, this become look like this. The in which also this angle and this angle is equal and this angle and this will be same this will be this will be same and this this same only this property you require to understand nothing else and you will be able to understand entire topic now let proceed you understand what is meridian and what is bearing before going to this come to this picture this is our earth Earth has two poles, one is called geographical north pole and geographical south pole and second is called magnetic north pole and magnetic south pole. Meridian is of basically three types, true meridian, magnetic meridian, arbitrary meridian. You know the meridian is a reference line. What is true meridian? True meridian is nothing but imaginary line which joins the geographical north pole of the earth and geographical south pole of the earth that is this line is called the true meridian magnetic meridian it is the imaginary line which joins the magnetic north and south pole of the earth this is also called geographic north is also called true north a geographic south is also called true south the geographic north and south is not going to change that's why true meridian is constant but magnetic meridian is not constant earth magnetic north and magnetic south change due to various reasons that's why magnetic meridian is changed and it's varied and is different for different places and time to time also due to influence of some magnetic substance and other factors due to this magnetic meridian is changed 
I you also know the bearing. What is bearing? Bearing nothing but horizontal angle of line with respect to reference line. If you take the reference line is true meridian, then bearing is called true bearing. And if you take the reference line is magnetic meridian, then bearing is called magnetic bearing. And if you take the reference line is arbitrary meridian, then bearing is called arbitrary bearing. If you suspend a magnet, then it stay in a position of magnetic north south direct, from which you can know about the magnetic north and magnetic south at a place. Suppose this is our this is our reference line, and this is this is a line. If reference line is magnetic meridian, then angle measure it's called magnetic bearing. If reference line is true meridian, then bearing measure of a line is true bearing. If reference line is arbitrary meridian, arbitrary meridian, the angle measure of a line is arbitrary bearing. That's all. If you want to know the definition, what is the definition of true meridian, magnetic meridian, arbitrary meridian, there you can pause the video and can read. Now come to the next system of bearing measurement. Basically, there is two system of bearing measurement. First, full circle bearing. In short, we say WCB, and second, quadrantal bearing QB or reduced bearing RB. Come to the WCB. That is full circle bearing. How to measure WCB of a line? Remember this point. It is measured always from north in clockwise direction. And go up to the line. Suppose this is line. I require to measure the bearing of this line. Always start from north in clockwise direction up to the line. So this will be the bearing of line. Sit down. Now again, suppose some line is lies in the this quadrant. So what will be the bearing of this line? Always start from north, measure in clockwise direction, go up to the line. So this will be the bearing of this line means this angle will be the bearing of line D. Suppose some line is lies in this quadrant. So what will be the bearing of this line? Always start from north in clockwise direction and go up to the line. Okay. Suppose some line is in this direction. Then what will be the bearing of this line? Always start from north in clockwise direction and go up to the line. This angle will be the bearing of this line. Okay. For practice, draw this. Draw a line whose WCB means whole circle bearing is given. First 70 degree. I have to draw this line. Where will be this line? To draw the bearing first, you need draw the meridian first. I have to draw 70 degree. Where will be 70 degree? You have to start from north. Always remember in WCB system, you have to start from north in clockwise direction. Then you know this angle is 90 degree from here to here. You have to draw 70 degree. It means this line will lie in this quadrant. So draw a line, make this angle 70 degree. This is the 70 degree. Okay. Now now come to the B. 100 degree. I need to draw 100 degree. First, so first I say draw this meridian. Where will be 100 degree? 100 degree means you know this angle is 90 degree. Means the line go beyond this quadrant. Line lie in this quadrant. So first this will be the line. So what will be the 100 degree? WCB. This angle will be the 100 degree. Okay. Now C. 210 degree. Draw meridian. No direction. Okay. Draw. Where will be the 210 degree? Suppose this is 90 degree. Again this is 90 degree. Means this angle is 180 degree. And this angle on from this to this. This will be 270 degree means your line will be lie in this quadrant means suppose here will be the line this angle will be 210 degree okay now come to d 320 degree draw first where will be the 320 degree this angle is 90 degree again this 90 degree 90 90 180 degree again 90 degree 270 degree 320 is more than 270 degree and this will come 360 degree then this line will be like okay here this is your north so I start from north go up to the line this will be your 320 degree this is the how you will draw the bearing of line i hope you understand this now the second system of bearing measurement a reduced bearing system remember this in this system you can measure from north or south both also in clockwise direction 
एंड एंटी क्लॉक डायरेक्शन फ्रॉम विच लाइन इज नियरर मीन जहाँ से नज़दीक हो वहाँ से आप मेजर कर सकते हैं एज ए क्लॉक डायरेक्शन में और एंटी क्लॉक डायरेक्शन में सपोज वन लाइन इज ए बियरिंग ऑफ दिस लाइन इन आर वी सिस्टम तो दिस लाइन इज नियरर फ्रॉम पार्ट नॉर्थ और साउथ नॉर्थ क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन और एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन दिस क्लॉक दिस इज क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन एंड दिस इज एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन इफ यू गो एंटी क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन यू हैव टू मेजर दिस एंगल इफ यू गो क्लॉक वाइज डायरेक्शन यू हैव टू मेजर दिस एंगल तो विच इज नियर दिस ऑब्वियसली दिस इज नियर दिस एंगल इज बट देर इज पैटर्न टू राइट वियरिंग इन आर वी सिस्टम वॉट इज पैटर्न यू हैव टू फर्स्ट राइट फ्रॉम हेयर यू स्टार्ट नॉर्थ और साउथ देन एंगेन देन ईस्टवर्ड और वेस्टवर्ड रिमेम्बर दिस विल इंटरचेंज एंड दिस विल इंटरचेंज ओके रिमेम्बर लेट्स राइट दिस एंगल हाउ टू राइट इन द आर वी सिस्टम फ्रॉम हेयर यू आर स्टार्ट दिस एंगल नॉर्थ राइट फर्स्ट नॉर्थ वाट एंगल यू मेजर थीटा वन वेयर ईस्टवर्ड और वेस्टवर्ड Even eastward writing. Okay, this is the pattern to write reduced bearing system. Okay, remember this. Suppose some line is in this quadrant. What will be the bearing of this line in a reduced bearing system? This line is nearer from north or south. Obviously, this is nearer from south. Clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. This is clockwise direction and this is anti-clockwise direction. So measure this line from this direction. This is anti-clockwise direction. So this angle will be the bearing of this line theta two. How to write this angle in reduced bearing system? First, from where you are start? North or south? South. What angle you measure? Theta two. Where? Westward or eastward? Eastward. This is pattern to write reduced bearing. Now suppose one line is in this quadrant. What will be the bearing in RV system? This line is nearer to south and clockwise direction. In this direction, this angle will be bearing of this line. This angle is theta three. How can you write of this angle? From here you start south theta three and westward. Okay. Next suppose this is line. Okay. What will be the bearing of this line? This line is nearer to north and in anti-clockwise direction. This angle is theta four. So this is bearing of this line. So how can I write north theta four and west? This is the system. This is the reduced bearing system. I hope you understand. Now let's practice some question. Draw a line whose R B means reduced bearing is given below. First A. Draw this line. You have to draw. The so first draw this meridian. What is north? 30 degree east means you need to start from north in eastward direction this is north this line will be lie on the north east quadrant north east this will be the angle 30 degree okay now go to the b first so first draw the meridian north 40 degree so this is the west this is north south this is west north 40 degree west this is your north this is your south this is west this is east the north 40 degree west the north is this and west means lines will be lie in this quadrant means this angle will be 40 degree okay now come to the c you know this is north what i have to draw south 30 degree west means south west quadrant south west this quadrant means lines will be lie in this quadrant and will be measured from south like okay. This angle, this angle will be the. Now come to the D. South 48 degree east. Draw meridian. The line lies in the southeast quadrant, south and east. In this quadrant, and measure from south. So this is the 48 degree. I hope you understand this concept. Now go to the next conversion from WCB to RB and RB to WCB. Means if WCB is given, you have to convert reduced bearing. If reduced bearing given, you have to convert in WCB system. Suppose you have to given 40 degree, 40 degree WCB. You are looking for this conversion. Okay, 40 degree WCB is given 40 degree. You need to convert reduced bearing system. So first draw this. This line will be here. Something will be here. This line, this 40 degree. How to write this bearing in reduced bearing system, RB system? This line is started from north. And this angle is 
40 degree and in eastward direction that is the conversion this is the reduced bearing of this WCB okay now suppose you have 120 degree WCB how to convert in reduced bearing system first draw 120 degree in WCB system so where will be the line this line will be line in this quadrant and this angle will be the 120 for reduced bearing system you required this angle because this is nearer from south then so what will be this angle you know whole angle is 180 degree and this is given 120 degree the 180 minus 120 this will be the 60 degree okay write it in rb system how to write first s for this is start from s then angle 60 degree and then where eastward or westward eastward okay now next suppose wcb is given 230 degree convert it in rb system the so first draw 230 degree in whole circle bearing where will be the line this line you know this angle will be the 180 degree this angle will be the 270 degree means this is greater than 180 and less than 270 means this line will be the in this quadrant this angle is 230 degree for a reduced bearing system you required this angle because this line is nearer from south in this direction so you required this angle to write reduced bearing so what will be this angle you know this angle 230 degree i know you know this one this one is 180 degree subtract 230 minus 180 means 50 degree write it in reduced bearing system how to write first s because i start from s 50 degree 50 degree westward or eastward westward now come to the next suppose there is given 300 degree wcb is given 300 convert it in reduced bearing system the first draw 300 degree in wcb system where will be this you know this angle is 270 degree this line will be in this quadrant more than 270 degree this line is in this quadrant this angle is given to 300 degree. for reduced bearing system you require this angle because this line is nearer from north in anti-clockwise direction so you require this angle for reduced bearing system what will be the this angle this is 300 i know hole is 360 degree you reduce this angle from hole means 360 degree remains 60 degree means this angle is 60 degree so how to write in rb system first from where it started north right north again angle 60 degree eastward or westward is westward okay this is how to convert wcb to reduced bearing system now now come to this system okay suppose rv is given n 30 degree east convert it in wcb system remember one thing first draw whatever is given then think what i need n 30 degree east means line will be in this quadrant and if suppose this this is 30 degree what is the wcb of this line in WCB system, we start always from north in clockwise direction. In this angle is the WCB. And this is 30 degree. In WCB system, 30 degree. That's simple. Next, given north 30 degree west. Convert it in WCB system. The first draw this N 30 degree west means northwest quadrant. 30 degree start from north means this angle is 30 degree. But in WCB system, you required a start from north in clockwise direction of the line. You required this angle. How to find this angle? You know, whole angle is 360 degree. Reduce this in 360 degree. You will get this angle. Okay. 360 minus 30 degree is equal to 330 degree. Okay. Next, suppose RB is given S 40 degree west. You need to convert in WCB system. The first draw this line. Where will be this line? Southwest quadrant. Southwest quadrant is this. Means this angle is given. This angle is 40 degree. Now, in WCB system, you required this angle from north up to the line. So, what will be this angle? You know this angle and you know this angle 180 degree. And this angle is 40 degree. Add both 180 plus 40. 180 plus 40 to 20 degree. Now, next is 60 degree east is given you need to convert it in wcb system the first draw 
this angle where will be this angle south east and this south and this angle will be this angle is 60 degree but in wcb system you required this angle because i start from north up to the line in clockwise direction so what will be this angle you know whole angle is 180 degree you reduce this angle you will get this one so 180 minus 60 degree is equal to 120 degree wcb of this line is 120 degree okay these are the conversion from one system to other system i hope you understand this well now go to the next now go to the next for bearing and back bearing you know one thing in wcb system bearing is written simply whatever angle right without any direction notation like this degree 320 degree like that but rv system you need to write direction suppose n 30 degree east if bearing of a line is given it is not written either wcb or reduced bearing or not written either in this format it means the given bearing is wcb system remember these things now what is for bearing suppose a b is a line a and this is b is a line means we measure the bearing of line a b at point a what will be the bearing of this line whenever you will get a written bearing it means wcb bearing automatically understand this and bearing of this line at this point what will be the? this is the north this is the north okay the always I start from north up to the line in wcb system bearing of this line at b point will be this a bearing of this line at a point will be this one is called for bearing and one is called back bearing of the line so which is called for bearing and which is called back bearing remember the bearing measured at a starting point of a line is called for bearing means this angle is for bearing and this bearing will be back bearing okay this angle remember always for bearing is at a starting point if our work is progress in this direction the starting point of a b is a so bearing measured at a is called for bearing and bearing measured at b is back bearing if we change the direction this is line a and this is line b okay now the work is changed now we go from b to a then now the bearing measured at this point and bearing measured at this point this is the starting point of line a b that's why this, this bearing will be for bearing okay and this is this will be back bearing remember this and the for bearing and back bearing of a line is written in this format like that for bearing of for bearing of a b a b whatever angle will be there okay theta one and back bearing of a b theta two see this a b means the line I start from a to b okay for this we can write for bearing of b a why i am writing b a because work is a start from b to a the for bearing of b a is equal to theta to back bearing of b a equal to theta 1 back bearing of b a equal to theta 1 remember this this is theta 1 suppose this is what is theta 1 this is theta 1 this is this angle is theta 2 this angle is theta 2 this angle is theta 1 here ba means work start from b okay if you have given for bearing then how to convert it in back bearing suppose for bearing of line ab is given 30 degree means this is wcb draw for bearing of line 30 degree means for bearing of line this is a 30 degree okay what is back bearing this is 30 degree this line is a because line is given a b a b means a is a starting point and this will this point will be b so first draw same same thing here draw at this point this is not the, this angle is the for bearing of a b so what will the back bearing of a b this angle will be the back bearing of a b so how to find this angle you know this is 30 degree you know this angle and this angle is equal by the geometrical property this angle is equal to this angle that means this is 30 degree uh, you know this is 180 degree if you add 180 degree plus 30 degree 
then you will get this whole angle how much 180 plus 30 means 210 degree it means back bearing of AB is 210 degree if back bearing is given you can convert it in for bearing either one is given you need to convert other one if you know simple geometrical property you need not to remember any formula otherwise you can remember one formula to conversion of from for bearing to back bearing or back bearing to for bearing so what is the formula for bearing minus back bearing equal to plus minus 180 degree difference of for bearing and back bearing is equal to 180 degree this is a formula remember one thing if any angle is given either for bearing or back bearing if this is greater than 180 degree then minus 180 degree if less 180 degree then add 180 degree remember this to conversion from for bearing to back bearing a back bearing to for bearing so for any bearing is given either back bearing is given either for bearing is given first see this is greater than 180 degree or less than 180 degree if greater than 180 degree so subtract 180 degree if less than 180 degree then add 180 degree for example i am taking this example simple for bearing of line is given 30 degree okay to see whether it's greater than 180 degree or less than 180 degree this is less than 180 degree this is for bearing you required you required back bearing since it is less than 180 degree so add 180 degree you will get 210 degree then these are the conversion from for bearing to back bearing back bearing to for bearing now coming to the magnetic declination suppose this is the true meridian and this is magnetic meridian so this is true north this is magnetic north this is true meridian and this is magnetic meridian magnetic declination is the horizontal angle between the true meridian and magnetic meridian this angle is the declination angle suppose this angle is theta theta is the declination you know this is north this is south and this will be west and this is east this declination is towards east you can say declination east similarly if declination towards west this is true north this is magnetic north this is true meridian this is magnetic meridian this is the declination this is theta this is also called theta west and this is called theta east because this inclined towards east and this is inclined towards west okay this is west this is east so you know true meridian is constant true meridian is never going to change magnetic meridian may be in decline in this direction may be decline in this direction again suppose this is line okay so magnetic bearing of this line is given magnetic bearing is bearing of a line from magnetic meridian so ma this is magnetic meridian and this angle will be the bearing of this line suppose magnetic bearing of line is given now this is magnetic bearing of this line you require true bearing how to find true bearing you know the true bearing is the bearing of a line from the true meridian so this bearing will be the true bearing okay this is given magnetic bearing is given is given okay you ask to find true bearing the how true bearing is equal to here see here this angle is magnetic bearing and this angle is declination if you add both angle you will get true bearing means true bearing is equal to magnetic bearing plus declination i am saying guys you don't require to remember any formula first draw what you were given and then see what you required and find them by using geometry it will be easy for you same case in this case this is given this is magnetic bearing of line and true bearing of line what this will be the true bearing then true bearing is equal to magnetic bearing minus declination okay let's discuss one question suppose magnetic bearing of line is given 130 degree and uh, a declination is given 5 degree east and it is asked to calculate true bearing over what first draw true meridian then second draw magnetic meridian it is said declination is 5 degree east it means where is east this is north this is south this is west this is west this is east 
डिक्लाइनेशन फाइव डिग्री ईस्ट मीन्स दिस इज फाइव डिग्री फाइव डिग्री ईस्ट मीन्स दिस एंगल इज फाइव डिग्री दिस इज डिक्लाइनेशन फाइव डिग्री एंड दिस इज मैग्नेटिक मेडियम एंड दिस इज ट्रू मेडियम वॉट इज गिवन मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग ऑफ लाइन इज गिवन मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग ऑफ लाइन इज वन थर्टी डिग्री तो मैग्नेटिक बियरिंग मीन्स बियरिंग फ्रॉम मैग्नेटिक मेडियम वन थर्टी डिग्री सपोज दिस इज द मैग्नेटिक मेडियम दिस एंगल इज द वन थर्टी डिग्री दिस एंगल इज वन थर्टी डिग्री ओके यू रिक्वायर ट्रू बियरिंग बियरिंग ऑफ ए लाइन फ्रॉम ट्रू मेडियम द ट्रू बियरिंग मीन्स यू रिक्वायर दिस एंगल ओके this is a your this is your true bearing how do you find this angle so this angle is equal to this angle a plus this angle you will get this total true bearing equal to this magnetic bearing and this angle what is this angle theta okay then magnetic bearing is equal to 130 a plus 5 equal to 135 see how if you have given true bearing you can find this same way Uh, now come to the compass compass is a instrument which is designed for the measurement of direction with reference to the magnetic meridian if you measure the angle with respect to ma magnetic meridian that angle will be magnetic bearing so see, remember the compass measured magnetic bearing declination is measured by other instrument then we find the true bearing using the concept of declination as earlier discussed the compass measured magnetic bearing remember this now there is two type of compass one is prismatic compass second is surveyor compass in this day surveyor compass is not used and this is used only for mining purpose we use prismatic compass okay this is very light instrument see the component and construction of the prismatic compass see here this is the this is the cross section of the prismatic compass you see here the prismatic compass see look this prismatic compass here is i piece you can see from here and towards this direction and some uh, some object arranging rod arranging pole will be there you will direct this and bisect this you will see in this and this and rotate the compass and fix the position to side of this object to be in the line and this is the uh, ring there is aluminum circle and graduation is there in degree minute and there is mag magnetic needle which show the direction of magnetic north and south see here if you look from top this is look like this this is the circle and this is the magnetic needle both are attached and uh, this is this is fixed while object is bisecting this is a prism you can see here prism is fitted for taking reading you can see here the component of the prismatic compass both are similar the main difference here Uh, both objective and i in the prismatic compass one is objective one and one is i piece there is facility for taking reading but in the surveyor compass there is not facility for taking reading you first bisect the object and then you need to see reading but in the prismatic compass both bisecting the object and reading you, you can take simultaneously this prismatic compass Use with or without tripod stand, but in surveyor compass you cannot use without tripod stand. You can see here also this is prismatic compass, this is surveyor compass. You can remember this the least count. Least count of prismatic compass is 30 minute. For surveyor compass is 15 minute. For satellite is 20 second. Third light we will discuss later. See the basic difference. First see here what is the difference between prismatic compass and surveyor compass. In look first look the prism at one end. and slit on other end in surveyor compass no prism is fitted only slit at both ends you see here you see here in surveyor compass both are slit and but in prismatic compass one is here is prism is fitted uh, here is slit only one slit and one prism is fitted use of tripod or stand as i discussed in prismatic compass reading is taken with the help of prism provided by i slit okay but but in surveyor compass reading is taken from top of compass in prismatic compass magnetic needle <coughs> magnetic needle in prismatic compass does not act as index here magnetic needle is attached with the ring but in the surveyor compass magnetic needle is not attached with the ring see here this is prismatic compass this is magnetic needle this is attached with ring okay but in the surveyor compass the magnetic needle is not attached with the ring the ring is attached with the box if you bisect the object 
you need to require turn this box if you move the compass then in prismatic compass then this needle will not move this will remain fixed in the magnetic north and south direction only this compass will be moved but in the surveyor compass if you turn this magnetic needle is fixed in the north south direction but the circular ring this ring is this graduation is this graduation is moved with box because it is attached with box also in prismatic compass the magnetic needle is broad type this is broad type and in the surveyor compass the needle is edge type this you can see you can see the difference of this needle and this needle this is called broad type this is called edge type again one basic difference in prismatic compass and surveyor compass is the bearing measurement system in prismatic compass wcb is measured but in the surveyor compass reduced bearing is measured but remember in the prismatic compass this is a circle this is suppose north this is south this is west and this is east 0 degree is marked on south and 180 degree is marked on north remember this this is the objective question and west this is 0 degree this is 90 degree this is 180 degree and this is 270 degree in prismatic compass this is for prismatic compass okay in reduced bearing system this is simple north south 0 on both north or south and 90 west east okay remember this is the objective question you can remember this wcb system graduation n and this is q v quadrantal bearing a reduced bearing system and graduation marking remember this is important this is important okay this is important now some terms is here for objective point of view Remember, this is very important. Also, gonic lines, line passing through the point of equal declination. A gonic line, line passing through point of zero declination. Remember, this both term is very important. Again, dip of magnetic needle. What is dip? The inclination of the needle with the horizontal towards the pole. To understand this, let this is this is earth. Okay. Suppose this is north pole, and this is south pole. Suppose you are here, yeah, you are here. If you suspend a magnetic needle freely, then it will lie in the direction north-south direction. This like this. This is the this is the axis, and this is the axis of line joining, and this is the axis. So if you suppose this is equator, and we say, if you go towards this, this is north pole, and if you go towards south pole, you can go to this. So this is If one, if you are standing here on equator, if you suspend the, if you suspend the magnet, then if you suspend the magnetic needle, then we magnetic needle will show the direction of this direction. So what is, if we see, if you are stand here, the magnet magnetic needle will show the direction of this. It will show the direction of this, and this is the inclination, and this is the horizontal. you this is the horizontal and this is the your needle like this if you if you if you are stand here if you su if you suspend needle here it will the show the direction like this because this is the meridian of this line uh, what is the horizontal line horizontal axis at uh, this angle at uh, this line this needle makes the angle from the horizontal this theta this is the dip angle the inclination of needle with horizontal towards the pole if you go here this will towards the pole and this inclination from the horizontal is this so this is the dip if you go to the equator this will remain horizontal that's why dip angle at equator is 0 degree and dip angle at pole will be maximum and it will becomes like that that will be the 90 degree with the horizontal so remember this dip angle 0 degree at the equator and 90 degree at the pole next term is local attraction what is local attraction for measuring bearing you use the magnetic compass which consist of magnetic needle magnetic needle is affected by some magnetic substance due to influence of magnetic substance the magnetic needle will not orient in the actual magnetic north and south direction then if you take the reading from that it will not give the actual magnetic bearing then substance which is influence the magnetic needle is called local attraction how to identify local attraction for that you need to check what is the difference of 
फॉर वियरिंग एंड बैक वियरिंग इफ द डिफरेंस ऑफ फॉर वियरिंग एंड बैक वियरिंग इज एग्जैक्टली वन एटी डिग्री इट मीन्स देर इज नो लोकल अट्रैक्शन इफ इट इज नॉट इट मीन्स देर इज लोकल अट्रैक्शन तो फॉर चेक द लोकल अट्रैक्शन यू नीड टू सब स्ट्रैक फॉर वियरिंग एंड बैक वियरिंग ऑफ ए लाइन इफ इट इज एक्जैक्टली वन एटी डिग्री इट मीन्स देर इज नो लोकल अट्रैक्शन इफ इट इज नॉट इट मीन्स देर इज परजेंस ऑफ सम लोकल अट्रैक्शन नाउ वेरिएशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक डिक्लाइनेशन सिंस मैग्नेटिक मेरेडियन इज वेरिड मैग्नेटिक डिक्लाइनेशन इज ऑल्सो वेरिड देर इज सम टाइप ऑफ वेरिएशन विच इज कॉल्ड सेक्युलर वेरिएशन एनुअल वेरिएशन ड्यूरेनल वेरिएशन इरेगुलर वेरिएशन ना दीज आर द सम टाइप दीज आर द सम टाइप्स ऑफ वेरिएशन ऑफ मैग्नेटिक डिक्लाइनेशन सेक्युलर वेरिएशन फॉलो द साइन कर साइन कर विज लाइक दैट this this is what means it is fixed period of variation which cycle is approx 300 years rate of change of declination annual is 5 to 10 minute annual variation is over the period of one year and it is due to rotation of earth about the sun diurnal variation is over period of 24 hours and it is due to rotation of earth about on axis really irregular variation it is due to magnetic disturbance of earth and due to natural phenomena like earthquake tsunami etc now included angle what is included angle when two lines meet at point the angle between them is called included angle see suppose one line is this and one line is this two line meet two line meets at this point so this angle will be the angle between them will be the included angle one angle is this and one angle is this both are both will be the included angle now the angle between them is included angle it can be either interior angle or exterior angle but in the surveying work the angle measured in clockwise direction from the preceding line of a traverse to the forward line is known as included angle what is preceding line and what is forward line suppose suppose i am doing the survey see the figure what is preceding line preced what is preceding line and forward line both first i draw this line and second i draw this line so this line is preceding line and this line is forward line this depend upon the which is first and which is after see here when traverse run clockwise direction clockwise direction means suppose traverse is start from a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f f to a now in this direction this is clockwise direction work is just progress in the clockwise direction from here we are measuring we are measuring from here to here if clockwise direction so what is included angle what is included angle what is included angle what is included what is included angle the angle measured in clockwise direction from preceding line of a traverse to the forward line if you are measuring in this direction or for for the suppose what is suppose this is c point we are assuming this is c point now we are at a, we are seeing the angle of angle for c point which which will be the included angle at c point see which is preceding line this one which is forward line this one so make the angle in clockwise direction so you will make this in clockwise direction this will be the included angle if you see at if point this is the preceding line this is forward line make the uh, clockwise angle from preceding line to forward line this will be the included angle when traverse run in anti clockwise direction means work is started from this direction this is anti clockwise direction what will be the included angle suppose at p the so make then measure the clockwise direction from preceding line to forward line so which is preceding line this is preceding line you are measuring working from here to here this is preceding line and this is forward line make clockwise direction this angle will be the interior angle this angle will be the interior angle for this this is preceding this is forward this angle will be the interior angle for this this is preceding line this is forward line this angle will be the included angle okay means interior angle is the included angle in this case exterior angle will be the included angle now what is closing error when a closed traverse is plotted we have taken measurement from the field 
now we required the plot on the paper during the plotting it might be a minute error in the angle or length due to which the traverse may or may not be closed this ADS point should meet here after plotting but this fails to meet here the distance by which the traverse fails to close is known as closing error this is called closing error okay and this is solved by various methods in which one of the method is bodice rule this is the graphical method this may be asked in the objective question remember this this is a closing error this this is a closing error okay okay guys thanks for watching this video agar ye video aapko acha laga to like kare nahi to dislike kare aur comment mein zarur likhe thank you